Hi everyone, my name is Sherry Serrano and I'd like to paint a lake scene with you today. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk, just talk about the size of this canvas and what I have on it already. I have a 10 by 20 stretched cotton canvas that's acrylic primed. Okay, so we're going to be working with acrylic paints. And what I did was I drew a line all the way across. Um, that's going to be our distant shoreline. Okay, and I did it three inches up from the bottom. And then half an inch down from that, I drew a second line. So this is two and a half inches from the bottom of the canvas. Okay, and it's about maybe three inches from the end, something like that. And then here, the last line, the bottom line, it's the shortest of the three. It's two inches from the bottom. So you can see they're kind of staggered here. This is gonna be an island close to us. And then um, island point number two is back here. And then the distant shoreline, which we'll just call um, line number three. So one, two, three, okay? All right, so we also have, have three brushes, small, medium, and large. Spray bottle, cup of water, and some napkins. All right, so let's get painting here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually um, turn my painting on its side like this for a moment. Okay, and I'm gonna pick up my large brush. I'm gonna paint the sky first. And just to do it to get a nice consistent brush stroke, I'm gonna paint it like this just to start off with. So I'm going to use my large brush and I'm going to get a nice generous scoop of white and move it to the center of my palette. Get a second one. So now I have two large scoops of white, probably about a tablespoon or so. And I'm just going to go over to the burnt sienna. Just dab in there. Just until you can see it. I don't know if I got it. There we go. I think the first two I just... So just until you see a little dab of brown on there, then mix that in with your titanium white. You can see it's just a shade or two darker than the white. What I'm gonna do now that I have that, I'm just gonna get another scoop of white. I'm gonna cut this in half. And in half of this pile, I just add a little bit more white. That's going to be our sky color. This darker color that you can just barely see the difference there, but there is a darker color there. And that is going to be our cloud cover, or color, sorry. All right, so here we go. You can see the difference, or the color on there, now that I put it on the canvas. It's very subtle. So just reload after every brush stroke. I'm going to go right down to the number three line, the one that runs the full length of that canvas. I'm going to dip in my water just to make this go a little smoother. So again, right down to the number three line. Just gonna pull this color right up to it. Just kind of blend it in a bit. And while it's still wet, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that cloud color, the second pile, the darker pile. Okay, so I'm gonna go right over to that. I'll dip my brush in the water. Okay, see how I loaded up that large brush, and I'm just gonna paint. Uh, two thirds of this. Okay, start up in this corner. Again, you can just barely see it. I think I need to add just a tiny bit more of the burnt umber just so we can see it a little bit more. There we go. So just kind of blend it in. You don't want a solid line. Just kind of just pull it a little bit. 
And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go over to the white. And I'm gonna paint a sun in here. It's gonna be right about here. to blend a little bit more than I originally had it there so I used all, all my fingers now I'm covered in paint but that's all right we want it to look like it's in the fog so just kind of blend it with the paint that's on there okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it back on its side and I'm going to just block in some trees here. I'm going to go over to my um, burnt sienna and just, again, just gently touch the tip of my brush on there. And to our last color, the darker of the two, I just added more of the burnt sienna, just until you can see it. It's about maybe two shades darker, and that's what we want. I'm also going to add at this time just a tiny dab of the black just to give it kind of a smoky look. Okay, I'm actually mixing all the white was, that was on there. Alright, so now I'm going to take this color and I'm, I'm actually going to pull it along that bottom, but I'm sorry, the second one. I'm going to go down to the second one. all along there. I could have done this on its side. In fact, let's do that. I'll show you. It's just easier. So you take this. I'm holding my large brush vertically. I'm going to go right down to the bottom of that second line, number two. Okay, so you're on the right side, the sky side of that number two line. I'm just going to kind of give a nice little point to that, because that's an island point. And I want to come up, not all the way up to the sun of course, but I want to come up nice and high with it. And then just bring it down on an angle so it's kind of like a slice of pizza. Just smooth it out. black in there. Okay, once you have that kind of general shape there, I'm going to rinse my large brush. I'm going to turn it back on its side, so this is kind of what it looks like. And I'm going to go over to my medium brush. It's like a nice little angle brush. And give it a rinse. And then go right into that same color. And I'm just going to push up some treetops. Actually, I'll just dab and pull down. Maybe I'll bring this up just to, oh, my canvas moved. You just pull that into our last color. What's happening for me right now is that the canvas is still wet underneath the um, paint I just had on there and so it's actually blending which is kind of neat because you're getting a, a shade lighter up at the top Which is perfect Because This is kind of a misty morning a Foggy day So any kind of little illusions that you can get are bonus All right, so again just kind of push up those treetops Make sure that they're not all the same. You don't want all the same looking like pencil posts. You want to mix it up a little. We don't want too much texture because this is in the fog. So you want to kind of simplify as best you can. I'm just smoothing these out. What I could also do at this time too is I can dip my large brush in the water and then just pull it along this top. See how it just blends it out. Okay. 
to give a little space here between these last few trees. This gives some texture and definition to the last trees on the point. You just kind of play around with it until you're happy with how it looks. But once you are satisfied, then just stop because you might take something away. <laughs> All right. Again, you can just smooth it out if you need to. Okay, so I'm going to rinse out my large brush again. You can also, I can just see a little ridge of paint there on my sun. I'm just going to just grab it and pull it up. I'm just smooth it out just a tiny bit. We want it to be subtle. Okay. Now I took too much. I'm just going to add a tiny dab in the sun. We want it bright enough, but we don't want it to jump at you. There. I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to take that last color we used and I'm just going to add a little bit of white to it. So I'm rinsing my medium brush, going over to my white, get a scoop of it. What I want is I want a color that's darker than my sky and lighter than these trees. And that's going to go on that back line number three. Okay. I'm going to take my medium brush and whatever way you can get comfortable doing this. We want to still see it. You don't want a lot of detail back here because these of course are really in the distance and so quite foggy. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, turn it back on its side. This time I'm going to have the sky on the left and the water on the right. And I'm going to take more white with my medium brush and mix it in there. Mix it in our last color. This is going to be the color we use to paint the water on this side. Or the, I should say the canvas on this side. So I'll go right underneath that number three line, the distant shoreline. Mix it in there. And again, the reason I paint it on its side like this a lot of times is just because you see those little ridges in there? If I get any streaks, then they could look like waves. And the same for clouds. So it just kind of works to your advantage to paint it like this. And it's just easier, I find, to paint a vertical brush stroke than horizontal. So just kind of go with it. All right, just slapping that on there filling up that canvas. I'm going to go back here in between those lines just a tiny bit and then in here as well. We are going to paint that island in the foreground but it doesn't go all, you know, of course that little, there's going to be a, a point. So you will see some of that water back there so you don't want just bare canvas. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rinse out my medium brush for a moment and I'm gonna go over to my small brush. I'm gonna take this color, I'm gonna dip it in the water with my small brush and I'm gonna go underneath this um, island point number two. And what I wanna do is I just wanna blend out that edge just a tiny bit with a watered down brush. Don't want a harsh line right there. So it's the same color that we used in the water. We're just going to soften that shoreline edge because it's foggy. We don't want any sharp lines. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, more of the black to my mixture. 
And I'm just gonna dab a little bit more water to this. What we want is um, just kind of a runny mixture so we can make waves, okay? So I'm just gonna, almost like sharpening a pencil, I'm gonna do this with my small brush. Take that new color, and I'm gonna leave this area kind of plain because it's so far away, you probably wouldn't see a lot of texture back there. But I am gonna add um, some brush strokes right in here. Just tiny little brush strokes. Just take your time, just gently touch them full. And if they jump out, you can always go back and add a little white next to them to tone them down. So what it is, just kind of stagger those brush strokes. As you get closer to the bottom, which is your far right as we're painting it like this, that um, those brush strokes will be longer and thicker because those waves are closer to you. Okay, so the waves further back are shorter and tighter together, but these waves on the bottom here are the opposite. They're longer and shorter, or thicker brush strokes. So I'm just gonna get a little tighter brush strokes right up closer to that island. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a highlight to some of those waves. So I'm gonna go straight over to my white, dip my brush in the water, and I'm just gonna add, just across from this little open area, I'm just gonna add just a few little highlights, like that's where the, whatever light there is in the sunset, um, during the day here, this foggy day, it's hitting the tops of these waves. It's not much, but there is some. So I'm loading my brush up after every other brush stroke, I think. Or every third, something like that. And you could add a few of these brighter ones back in the distance. Okay, now that I have that on there, while it's still on its side, I'm gonna rinse out my small brush and set it aside and pick up my medium brush. Now what I wanna do is I wanna paint that island point, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my medium brush and go over to my burnt, uh, burnt sienna, so a nice scoop of burnt sienna with my medium brush, and then I'm gonna go to my black. I'm gonna scoop of that. I'm gonna get a nice kind of a charcoal color to start with. Mix it in with the paint that's on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna follow that line, line number one, the shortest of the three, that's closest to the bottom. Take that. All right, so you have one line there. Now from that one line, I'm going to um, come up from that. And make it a little wider. Okay, and I'll get more paint on that brush and come up even higher. Just kind of blend it in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm gonna turn it back on its side. And now I'm going to take my small brush and I'm just gonna draw out where these trees are. So I have a couple of trees to go on here. So a small brush, same color, and just the, 
it all kind of goes together. I like having a little bit of a curve to the tree, so I'm just going to pull it down like that. The curve on the top. And then I'm going to do two other trees. You don't want them exactly the same height because that's kind of boring. I'm going to do a smaller tree here on the right. I'm going to dip my brush in the water here. And then a little bit taller tree right here. This is where the spray bottle comes in. So I have this spray bottle, I just hold it up. Spray. And now I'm gonna take my large brush, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the burnt sienna to warm it up a bit. I'm going to use my small brush and just add a tiny bit of the sap green. green. Okay. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. Just remember as you're painting trees, the tops of the trees of course point up and then as the branches get heavier they just start to drop. So a lot of times just pay attention to the general shape of it and, and have fun with it. But, um, but just remember they don't have to be perfect. They look better if they're not. So I'm going to start here. Just add some little dabs. So this is the crown of the tree. Just use the very tip of your small brush and kind of dab and pull towards the center of the tree. Maybe what I'll do, I'll just so everybody kind of gets what I'm saying, I'll draw the general shape. Some just some really basic branches and then come back and fill it in. kind of funny right now, but I'll come back and fill it in in just a second. Okay, so so from there, you can just kind of see, they don't have to be parallel like or symmetrical. You can mix it up. So I'm going to take that same color and I'm just going to add texture to it because of course right now it looks kind of silly. So just little dabs with the tip of your brush. Remember that there are branches in the center of those trees so they cover up the trunks. dip my brush in the water just so it goes on a little smoother. I think the trick is to just have plenty of paint on there. So reload after every few brush strokes. See how I'm just giving more shape to those branches just so they're not lines otherwise it look like the tree's dead. <laughs> Texture and texture. It's all about layering. Okay, almost done, just a few more little textures in here. Just kind of using the side of my small brush now just to block in some of these little the underbrush of this island here. Okay, just reload that brush once again. Just 
add a few more textures in here to liven things up. Okay, dip my brush in the water again, and let's see, just the general shape, I think, I like it, what I was hoping for, and I'm going to actually bring that little um, bottom tree up just a tiny bit more, just so I, it's not lost. I ended up, I added a little more black to this. I'm going to use it here and I'm also going to use it on the shadows of the tree. So just pull that little tree trunk down and then just add the shadows. So just a little black, more black to our mixture. I'm going to hit some shadows here on the island just with my small brush. you think there might be a shadow on the tree. The light's coming from behind, so you're not getting a lot of light on this side of the tree. Add just a few little textures in here. Rinse my brush again, same color. I'm just going to add, make these little textures on these smaller trees now. So, in the, start, the first one on the left, I start at the top. There's not a lot to these because they're kind of small, so I'm just using the side of my small brush and just pulling them in towards that trunk. So, branches and brush strokes. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing on the little tree on the right. You want them to be different, just so they're, you kind of mix them up here. So make sure they don't have the same shape. So this one's going to be a little wider, I think. Just pull it out. my brush again. Alright, so to this make sure that we have in the center, I'm going to get another scoop of white. I'm just going to blend it in. I know we're kind of backtracking here, but we're going to do some highlights on our island. So we're painting where the water or the light would be hitting these wet rocks. So just kind of pull them out a little bit. And you can use, add some little grass in here. All 
away. I'm going to use that same color. I'm going to dip my brush in the water, use that same color. I'm going to flip my canvas back on its side for a moment. I'm just going to pull this along the bottom, just a very thin line of it, right along the bottom of that rock. See how that just kind of softens the edge? Okay, I'm going to use that same color again and just add just a general or just a basic little um, reflection of these trees up here. A few more touches. like something again you can like this one little wave has a little hook on it I can just take a lighter color and blend it out all right so I think the last step we're going to do here is just I'm going to add to that same color I'm going to get another scoop of green and a scoop of the yellow ochre so sap green yellow ochre and now I'm just going to go back and take this I'm going to have a little more yellow ochre just so it looks kind of goldeny we don't want it too bright green I'd rather have it yeah, there we go. A little more golden. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to hit some of the tops of these little branches just to give it some a, somewhat of a glow. Okay. You can add more textures in there if you want. I just want this color in here so it's not too flat and black. So right in there, it's kind of dark, so this is a good way to break it up a little bit. Same with this other side. And right in the center. You don't want to take this all the way to the bottom, keep the base of this area kind of dark because it's in shadow. So you don't need a lot of this. take the same color and just hit a little edge of this on the side of these smaller trees as well just here and there not a lot very very subtle maybe a little bit of this right in here to make it look like it has some grass I took that out. I'm going to actually add dark back in there. I like the way it looked. Maybe just a small little one up here. Okay, and that is it. It's a fun one. Kind of a limited color palette, which I love. So enjoy, happy painting, and stay safe, everyone. Thank you.